Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Reporter's Notebook. For those of you who maybe never tuned into a Reporter's Notebook before, it's one of my personal favorite segments that we get to do here at WNCT, where sort of towards the end of our work days, we get to bring in some coworkers in here to the digital studio and dive a little deeper into the stories that we cover for you guys each and every day and talk about what it's like to be a reporter, what it's like to be a reporter at WNCT here, kind of behind the scenes. So today we are joined in the digital studio by Miss Caroline Boyer. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Emily. Happy Valentine's Day. I know. I was about to say happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I keep forgetting. For some reason, my brain has been telling me for weeks that Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Oh, that's funny. So I am drastically it is, It's kind of weird to have it on a Monday, I guess. It is weird. So I'm like drastically underprepared today, but that's okay. <laughs> but your story is a story about love and Valentine's Day. And what more perfect story than on Valentine's Day. So talk to us about the story that you covered for today. I love this. Yes. Okay. So today I met Wayne and Kendra Hardison. They were work for Vident East Care. Kendra is an EMT and Wayne is a medic. So basically Kendra drives the ambulance. Wayne is in the back ready with the equipment and they literally work together to save lives. They work together. They do like six week rotations. And so basically two weeks out of those six, they are working in the same ambulance. So it was kind of funny. They told me since they spend so much time at work together, sometimes when they're home, they try to separate a little <laughs> bit because you need a little bit of separation between, you know, work and personal life. Um, but yeah, it's a really, a really cute story. They told me that obviously they work really well together because they know e each other so well. They each have their routines and they really compliment each other a lot. And it was also funny too. They told me a lot of times people who they're taking care of don't even actually realize that they're married until they look at their name tags and notice they have the same last name. And they're like, wait, that, that's interesting. Are y'all married? And they're like, yeah, we are. And the people are always like, oh, we never would have known. So it's just a really fun little duo, a cute yeah. little story. Oh my gosh, I love this. And you said they've been doing this for how many years together? Sev I'm not, I don't remember exactly how many, but it's been several, several years. Oh and it's actually funny too. They also have a son who works at Biden. So the, it's, a, it's a family affair. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love that. And like you said, I'm sure they really do need that separation mm -hmm. at the end. But how great to work with the person you love and, and saving other people's lives while doing it. You know, not just sitting at a desk nine to five kind of thing, but Absolutely. out there with your partner, your partner in crime, literally. I love that. That is like the perfect Valentine's Day story. It is. And then something they were also talking about, too, is obviously their jobs have been very hard during the pandemic, you know, seeing so many sick people and so much loss and so much hurt. And so something that they talked about too is they were so glad that they've had each other to lean on because sometimes it can be hard, you know, when someone doesn't work the same job as you and you're, you know, complaining about things, they can't really fully understand yeah. where you're coming from. So they've been really grateful to have each other so that they can lean on because they both understand what they've been going through. So it's just nice to have someone to talk to about that kind of stuff. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. I just can't get over how cute this story is. I think this is like the perfect Valentine's Day story. I just love it so much. But if you guys want to hear more about Carolina's, Caroline's story about this EMT and her medic husband, I think this is the coolest thing ever. You guys can check that out, of course, on our website at WNCT.com. It'll also air at five and six tonight on WNCT. But like all of our reporters, you always do two stories a day, a VOSAT and a day turn story. So that was your day turn. So what's your VOSAT today? Because we're keeping with the theme of Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes, we are. So today I talked with some Greenville restaurants in particular to kind of talk about doing the holiday amidst staffing shortages and supply chain issues. So I actually visited Seared Chop House and talked to the manager there. And basically what he was telling me is, it's been very hard to find meat, which is kind of hard for a steakhouse. <laughs> right. And then also to go boxes and during the beginning of all these um, supply chain issues, he wasn't really seeing this, but now he started um, ha having a hard time finding wine, which mm. is, you know, also a big thing during Valentine's Day. People want to get a little drink for dinner. So he was talking to me about how they've been having to stock up because obviously it's a steakhouse. Filet is one of their specials tonight, right. so they do not want to run out of it. And they are completely booked up, which is obviously a good thing because a lot of businesses have struggled throughout the pandemic so a good thing to have everything booked up but they do not want to run out of steaks because that is one of the specials tonight absolutely and this is really i mean this is the first valentine's day since the pandemic started that people have 
really been able to have the opportunity to go out and celebrate it, not just at home. So, you know, with, like you're saying, the supply chain issues, this is a, a big deal right now, still causing a lot of issues um, economically, you know, in every business and every aspect. So definitely something to, to keep looking at and keep um, keep following over the next couple of weeks for sure. So Absolutely. thank you so much, Caroline. Do you have any Valentine's Day plans today? I got to ask you that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, you know, with it being a Monday, I wanted to go out and try a new restaurant. But Ooh. since it's Monday, a lot of restaurants aren't open on That's Mondays. True. So I think maybe I'll save that for Tuesday. I want to go like get some Mexican food somewhere that I haven't Ooh. tried. So I'll do like a Taco Tuesday, a late Valentine's Day celebration. I love that. Okay, <laughs> you have to go. You got to try because I've, I've been in Greenville for six years and I've never gotten my butt over to this one taco okay. place that everybody says is phenomenal. Mario's Tacos. Oh, I've never heard of that. It's over by the hospital. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know the exact street it's off of, but it is supposed to be like the best tacos ever like cool. fully authentic delicious so if you try them please let me yeah, know how good they are because be i've been step. trying to get over there <laughs> <laughs> that'll be the next step awesome. well thank you so much caroline we always appreciate you taking the time to join us for reporter's notebook thank you guys so much for watching this edition of reporter's notebook and we'll see you next time